This video will show you how to use the Digital Torque Adapter Generation 2 Zenith, an innovation that ensures the tightening of any bolt to the correct torque with angle measurement to avoid both insufficient and inadequate tightening, which can prove to be dangerous in some circumstances. Over-tightening can render bolts being sheared off. The Digital Torque Adapter Generation 2 Zenith makes changing a wheel on a car, for example, easy and safe. The user can operate the device on its own, or it can convert any ratchet into a digital torque wrench. The device features a 180-degree flipping screen, a 180-degree drive twist, a large and bright LCD screen, a light strip indicator for maximum visibility, and 10 memory sets for most used torque and angle. The user can operate the device with their preferred units from pound-feet, pound-inches, kilogram-meter, kilogram-centimeter, and newton meter. The device comes with a converter that enables the user to convert any ratchet to a measuring torque wrench. To power on the adapter, press the M button. The Auto Zero will process automatically. It is important that the device starts from zero. If not, then the user should reset. The user can set up to 10 sets of target torque. To do this, press plus to enter the torque setting mode. The word set will appear to the bottom left of the screen when in setting mode. To set up the target torque, press arrow. A flashing digit will appear. Press U for unit setting. This is for the user to choose their preferred unit as previously indicated. Press plus to change the value from zero to nine. Press arrow again to change the value accordingly by tens and hundreds. Once target torque is keyed in, the T button should be pressed to confirm. Now the target torque is set. Pressing the T button again will take the device back to operating mode. After the target torque is set, the user can then set up a target angle. By pressing the arrow, the user will be taken to the angle operating mode. Press U to switch among clockwise, anti-clockwise or both ways. Press plus to enter the angle setting mode. The word set will appear to the bottom left of the screen once in the angle setting mode. To set up the target angle, the arrow should be pressed. Flashing digits will appear. Press plus to change the value from zero to nine. The arrow should be pressed again to change the value accordingly by tens and hundreds. Once target angle is set, the T button should be pressed to confirm. Arrow should then be pressed to go back to the operating mode. These steps can be repeated to set up the user's most used 10 sets. Now the device is ready to go. After target torque and angle are set, the device will show the user different levels of indication depending upon the percentage of torque and angle that has been applied. This device has four levels of indication. At 60% of target torque, the indicator will show a flashing green light and sound a repetitive beep. At 70% of target torque, the indicator will show a flashing amber light and also sound a repetitive beep. At 90% of target torque, the indicator will show a flashing red light and sound a faster beep. When your target is reached, the device will show a steady red light with a high-pitched continuous sound. At a different level of target torque, the device gives different indicator signals. After target torque is reached, the device will then continue with angle measurement. At a different level of target angle, the device gives different indicator signals. When the torque angle has been applied with 60%, 70%, 90% or 100% of target angle, the indicator and sound will alert the user accordingly, just as with the torque. The user must stop applying torque when the steady red light shows and upon hearing the high-pitched continuous sound. Failure to stop may cause permanent damage to the device. If the user only needs to measure torque or angle on the default operating mode, the arrow button should be pressed for two seconds. The screen will show as displayed. The arrow should be pressed again to switch between torque and angle, torque only or angle only, pressing the T button to confirm. Now this video has demonstrated how to use this device for torque and angle measurement. Continue viewing to see how to use this device for measuring torque only or angle only. For torque measurement only, 
the indication and setting will be just the same as previously mentioned. However, there is a peak mode and trace mode to choose from. Press the T button to switch between peak mode and trace mode. Peak mode shows the final value of peak torque. This is displayed as a single arrow on the top left on the screen. Peak mode can be very useful if the accurate torque measurement is needed. Trace mode will auto zero after torque is applied. Trace mode is shown by the display of two arrows at the top left of the screen. This is perfect for quick jobs. For angle measurement only, as with the other two modes, this will give the user reading an indication for target angle. Unlike when in trace mode, angle measurement will not auto zero. To do this, press T to reset for next use. Twist the head for a better reading. Please be aware, do not turn to more than 120 degrees as doing so may damage the device. We hope you have found this video helpful.